to clear up a few um, anomalies. First of all, SLP, fresh start, we voted against that, Councillor Duffy. Uh, the 500 million in mitigations, I've said this before, I think it's been widely broadcast, we voted against those because they simply weren't enough, they were not fit for purpose. The 2000 Welfare Reform Act, Councillor Colley Kelly got this mixed up as well too, that's the Welfare Reform Act of, of 2007, which was under a Labour government, Margaret Ritchie, etc., etc. We're talking about 2015 Welfare Reform, which instigated universal credit, PIP, etc. Whole different ballgame. In fact, your MLA, Raymond McCartney, has been out in the media today talking about uh, the, the monies coming to try and alleviate a bit of universal credit, saying it's not enough and it's too little, too late. So where do those mitigations lie now with you know, what you've achieved at that time? I don't think they're anywhere near <coughs> sufficient. And again, Sinn Féin are actually allowing the DUP to prop up the Tory government by not taking their seats and, and not turning up to Westminster. So, you know, we can't be held accountable for that. We bit like a dog chasing a car you've got there, but you just don't know how to drive it. So, essentially, I would not be proud of, if I were a member of Sinn Féin, an MP who, great, you've done well in the election, well done, fantastic. But the fact that you aren't actually there doing the job representing people when these crucial, crucial decisions are being made and debated in Westminster, none of these are there. So the DUP, you know, you've got a free reign there. Well done, because Sinn Féin certainly aren't standing up for the people of this community. Thank you.